Starting a career in the entertainment industry at the age of 13, Miyawaki Sakura obviously didn't have it easy. Public judgments, criticisms, and discrimination, she has to face all of it at such a young age. In her journey as both a Japanese and Korean idol, did she overcome them? Let's find out! Miyawaki Sakura joined HKT48 as a first-generation trainee in July 2011 and became officially promoted to a full member status in March 2012. You can say that she's one of the most popular members and became a co-captain. She was even added to AKB48, starting from the bottom and work her way up, to the Senbatsu elections and became part of Kami7 four times in a row. As a K-pop fan, you may not be familiar with the J-pop 48G setup, but it just basically means Sakura is at the top of her game in her home country. That is why a lot of people waited for her appearance in the famous Korean Idol survival show Produce 48. It was in its third season and featured the collaboration between Produce 101 and J-pop idol group AKB48. Sakura's appearance on the show became controversial as she was chosen to join the A-class even with the lacking singing and dancing skills compared to Korean trainees. Netizens protested and left comments like, The standard is so low for this season compared to the previous seasons. And I feel like they are more lenient towards the Japanese contestants. But nevertheless, the trainers are positive about Sakura's hard work and influence as an idol. They may be right as she got the position of the first center on the show, which is a big deal if you know how the produced series works. Most first centers became part of the final lineup of the show, like IOI's Choi Yu Jung and 101's Lee Dae Hui. Even with the language barrier, Sakura was able to win the hearts of the producers or the viewers through her determination and endless charms. Not once did she drop off from the top 12 during the entire show. Eventually, she won the second place during the final episode with Jang Won Young in the first spot. And together with the other winners, they formed the Project Girl Group, Eyes One. Right when the results was announced, a big debate occurred among the viewers. Many argue that the number one place should be Sakura as she has always maintained a high ranking. With this, a big fan war occurred between Jang Won Young and Sakura fandom. Eyes One was set to debut on October 29, 2018 with a contract of two and a half years. As far as success goes, Eyes One totally dominated the K-pop industry during their active years. Their debut song, La Vie and Rose, alone gained a lot of achievements including its first win just 10 days after their official debut and broke the record for the fastest girl group to receive a music program win at the time. Needless to say, it was such a huge milestone for a Japanese like Sakura to debut and be part of such a successful K-pop girl group and be accepted by the public. But little did she know she was just entering a bigger world where she can be more examined and judged. One particular past scandal made netizens dig deeper into Sakura on what she truly is as a person. In 2016, she was caught fat shaming one of her fellow HKT48 members, Maru Tashima, in a tweet with the text, No matter how many times I look at the costume, I'm laughing. She then chimed in saying the costume might burst. Maybe it was supposedly a reply to a direct message but mistakenly posted it publicly. Anyways, it was quickly deleted and Sakura posted another tweet insinuating that she was hacked. This scandal made a lot of fans doubt her real intentions, especially when she's in front of the camera. Not only that, a series of scandals, past and present, continued to haunt her career. From the controversial pictures of 17-year-old Sakura with the 57-year-old Akimoto, AKB48's director and producer, on an alleged date to the birthday ads that shows Rising Sun designs in it, netizens were clearly busy looking her up while she was in Eyes 1. But again, it didn't stop her from moving forward and continually improving herself as an idol. As the group disbanded in April 2021, many people were wondering how Sakura will continue her career. Soon after, news of her graduating from HKT48 and AKB48 were out into the public. But where did she go from there? In 2022, rumors of Sakura signing with Source Music under HYBE, the same company as BTS, spread like wildfire. On March that same year, it was confirmed that she signed with the company together with Eyes One member Kim Chae Won. It was another exciting era in Sakura's idol life. She debuted in the six-member girl group Lesser FM in May 2022. But even before they debuted, a huge bullying scandal about one of the group's members, Kim Garam, broke out. It felt like she never rested from controversies. The whole group had to deal with non-stop criticisms from the public until Hive finally let go of Kim Garam just two months after their debut. And just recently, Sakura shed tears during Lesser FM debut documentary, The World Is My Oyster, regarding her difficult time as an idol, during which Sakura admits that she knows about the 
comments on her singing ability. As people tell her that she can't sing, Sakura has a hard time recording in the studio, and even wishes that she doesn't have many lines so that people would stop judging her. In another scene, Sakura was seen broke down crying as it is hard to watch the members struggle with weight loss despite working so hard. Finally, Sakura found some peace after the whole fiasco in Lesser of Him. Hopefully, people would now focus on her growth as an artist in the group that she's in. It was hard to believe how she still stood tall despite everything that happened to her all these years. One would think that she might be one of the most resilient idols out there. So, what do you think about Miyawaki Sakura's harsh journey in the K-pop industry? Let me know in the comment section. Until next time!